adventure through Mother Earth's sewing box. Muslin sands, each grain woven by her almighty hands. Lace-lined leaves lengthen from her swaddling arms. Damask flowers flourish from the lines in her palms. Ah, no, I've got it. Corduroy trees beneath cotton bud clouds above folds of linen. And spinning golden through the air are glimmers of her velvet hair that spill like ink on silk on seas. And underneath her veil, the breeze. I must have hit these final stitches. Exactly, I'm tired and ragged, but.
Each of our actions is a stitch in the fabric of time. What will yours look like? Humankind. We are a patchwork of he's, she's and it's. Where no patch is the same and each patch has a name and each patch fits together and if one of us quits, one not frayed and fraught, that's the end of our tether. We are all we've got and we've got to keep sewing together. We could ask, we could wish for more time and more thread, but couldn't we use what we've got now Mother Earth will keep us in her palms to forge a meeting where we'll hold and heave the Earth together with our tools of time and tether. Mother Welcome to Manchester Contemporary Youth Opera's screening of two operas created during our Opera for Film project. 
My name is Nina Whiteman, and I am Artistic Director of Manchester Contemporary Youth Opera, or MUCYO, working alongside the other Artistic Director, Richard Strivens. I'd like to take a moment between the two operas to say something about the project. Richard and I founded MUCYO in 2017 as a summer course for young people to create and perform new operas. Each year, we have worked with hugely talented young people and in 2019, we staged a production of six operas in 6,000 seconds. 2020 has been a little different, and we took the opportunity to place the emphasis on collaboration and the creation of opera designed for screen rather than stage. You are watching the results of six weeks intensive creative work by two teams of young people aged 18 to 25. They have collaborated remotely, online, in quite difficult circumstances, sharing with each other their incredible and diverse skills in areas such as animation, puppet making, composition, visual arts and instrumental and vocal performance. The whole team had creative input from the outset, and this is evident in their creations, which really do forge new paths in a relatively unexplored genre of opera designed for screen. I hope you agree that their achievement is truly remarkable. Richard and I would like to thank everyone involved, as well as mentors Laura Hilliard, Tom Parkinson and Sam Salem, whose insightful comments have been invaluable to the teams. We would also like to thank the Henfrey Charitable Trust, whose funds have made this project possible. Thank you very much for joining us. The second opera will begin shortly.
Hello again. Isn't it strange how we keep bumping into each other? I know! Well, what have you been up to since we last spoke? Mostly the usual, I guess. Fixed my mountain bike, went hiking for a couple of days, a bit of canoeing. Oh, and I've started going out for a surf or a wild swim every day. A wild swim? You, you do know it's winter, right? Isn't it a bit cold? It's not too bad. Anyway, it wakes me up in the morning. I consider wild swimming for a while for that very reason. But then someone told me about coffee and I decided against it. Wild swimming is cheaper than coffee. <laughs> well, whatever works. I honestly don't know how you do it though. Well, what about you? What have you been up to? Let me think. What have I been up to? Wait, when did I last see you? Uh, was it the other week at the harbour? When we watched the rain turn purple? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, I've been playing chess against my uncle. 
Other than that, I've mostly been knitting and doing crochet. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> well, crochet is with hooks, knitting is with needles. So you like wool at the moment. <laughs> I guess it's warmer than an ocean right now. What's the most ambitious thing you've made? Hmm, not sure. I made this rock mold with an interlocking, multicoloured foliage design. It's big enough for yoga. I'm good for exercise right now. The other day, I watched a girl on her own channel. She bit into it broad. I back. That's about a hungrier than usual a lot of the time. Well, I'm not surprised. You're being very active. Your body's probably trying to tell you that it looks real. About the lioness who set the lion in the basket. What's the punching line? Nothing. <laughs> I caught my youngest cousin stroking the cat last night. Oh, idiot. He knows he's allergic. Why was he stroking the cat if he's allergic? He liked him. He was doing it in the middle of the night so no one would find him and stop him going near him. Sure about that. <laughs> His eyes are streaming. It's happened a few times now. How old is he again? Eleven. <laughs> Some trees need fire to disperse their seeds. Maybe a cormorant like to swallow the moon. Dreaming has shot through my flesh with stillness. I wrestle. Eyes locked with the persistence of arrows. The mind heaves my hand to grip shadows piled on my lids. A cry crouches, shackled in my throat. If the darkness surges, its hunger lashing to Words my prone awakening. Awaiting the 
radiant, the birds rushed to their branches, mounting in a plumed typhoon of foliage to crown the smouldering stillness, who flocks into the cauldron of the storm's vast eye. Rings nest in glowing bark, rampant like wild.